Hi guys, welcome to Talent Sprint. Let's look at the example. A train of length 300 meters can cross a pole in 8 seconds. How long will it take to cross a platform of length 600 meters? Now I'm sure the regular way of solving this question involves finding out the speed of the train first because we know what distance the train covers in 8 seconds and then with that speed and the length of the platform we try to find out the new time and it takes uh, a bit of time about 15 to 20 seconds in getting the final answer for this question. But as I've mentioned earlier, if you use common sense as against the conceptual approach, you'll be able to mark the answer for this question much faster. So let's look at how do we answer this just through common sense. See, if you observe the train of length 300 meters can cross a pole in 8 seconds. This means that it takes 8 seconds for the train to cover a distance of 300 meters, right? We all know that crossing a pole involves uh, to cover its own length, right? So here clearly the train takes 8 seconds to cover a distance of 300 meters, right? Now in the next part of the question we need to find out how long will it take to cross a platform of length 600 meters. Now understand when the train has to cross a platform, how much does it have to travel? It has to travel its own length plus the length of the platform. Now what is the length of the train? 300 meters and the length of the platform here is given as 600 which means in the second case the train has to cover total 300 meters plus 600 that is 900 meters all right this is 900 meters we very well know that the time required is proportional to distance the speed is constant here right it is the same train so the time required would be proportional to distance more the distance more the time required right so if 300 meters take 8 seconds 900 meters would take how many seconds? 8 into 3, that is 24 seconds. So we can say that the answer for this question is 24 seconds, right? The simple point here is time is proportional to distance. So 300 meters can be covered in 8 seconds. 900 meters is 3 times this distance, right? 3 into 300 is 900. So 3 into 8, 24 seconds is your answer. So avoid the conventional method which involves finding the speed of the train first and then the time required to cross the platform. Instead, keep it simple, get your common sense back and answer this question in about 3 seconds.